everyone. You are now watching Talk with Shauna right here on the Fired Up Network, Female Empowerment Movement. I am really excited to have a special guest on the show today. His name is David Finley, the founder of the Wentworth 3 vs. 3 Basketball Festival on the show. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. How's it going? I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful, man. It's uh, it's exciting. Lots of lots of stuff happening. So you know, we're we're moving like a train here. It's awesome. We're going. I love that. I love that. So I want to know a little bit about you, your backstory, a little bit. So where are you right now located, and where are you originally from? I'm born and raised in Hamilton, Ontario. I've been here my whole life, and um, you know, so as a kid, I played basketball in in, in leagues like uh, Hamilton Basketball Association uh, (HBA). And uh, Blessed Sacrament, uh, they were both great leagues. I watched my older brothers; they were the all stars. I, I was always, you know, a shorter kid, so I never really made the rep teams and stuff like that. But my brothers were the all stars, and I loved watching them play basketball my whole life. And um, you know, he was my older brother Sean was the MVP of uh, his AAA league for for four years in a row or three years in a row. So you know, he he was my idol as a as a young kid. It kind of made me start dreaming as a younger kid. And, you know, I've always been a talented musician at heart. You know, even as a young kid, I was always singing and dancing and, and trying to entertain a crowd. So um, it kind of led me down the path of music. Uh, basketball was great for me as a kid. And, um, you know, sports in general, I truly believe sports in general is, is huge for youth. So when I opened my when I opened my store downtown in Jackson Square Mall in Hamilton, I opened up a clothing store. Uh, it was kind of like a sporting goods store too, so I had like some some sports gear and some sports clothing as well, and um, we 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 did really well there, and 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 I got connected into the basketball community again, and I did a big basketball tournament. It was more to raise awareness for my store, trying to get everybody more aware of the store location and stuff like that. But it turned into so much more, and uh, I gave back. Uh, you know, we raised eight thousand dollars for city kids and and for Fred Owens. He's a youth coach here in the city. Uh, so, you know, it turned into something huge, something I didn't expect. And this year we're rolling on even bigger and got bigger partners, more sponsors, more food trucks, vendors. It's crazy. It's going to be in a, a whole event, a whole festival. That's amazing. That sounds so exciting. Yeah. So is this something that you've done over several years? Like, is this something that happens every Last year. year? Last year was our first annual year and it's our second annual this year. Uh, you know, that's what I mean. The growth, the growth is absolutely insane. And, you know, I think after I realized what I gave back to the basketball community last year and, uh, you know, with Team Nike on our side this year, it kind of just snowballed and it made me want to do so much more and more and, and more, <laughs> you know. And more and more and more. And more and more. Uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. I love that you are a musician, too. That is really dear to my heart because I'm yeah. a singer, songwriter, recording artist as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you have something going on with Shaw Claire, don't you? Yes, I just released a single with him. Yeah, yeah he's, we Shock. we actually we actually interviewed Shaw Claire. Man, Shock is the best. He's he's he great. Is. Yeah, we had a little talk show called Let's Talk with Fins when the pandemic hit, and we mm. were reviewing artist music for them on on Facebook Live, and it kind of went viral. And we ended up interviewing like thirty different artists across Canada. We took a road trip across Canada, and it was a whole thing on YouTube. It was pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna check that out. Where can we check that out actually? Yeah, you just look up my see. my YouTube page. It's got some stuff on there. It's just the fins. And then uh, North Media, K N O W, like no, and then mm. R R T H. So North, it kind of looks mm. like North Media. And that's the YouTube page that has all the, the interviews and stuff. I love that. Yeah. I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link. I love that. Yeah. And if you ever want to get back, if you're ever into the music business again and, and you nah, want to uh, no? I'm, I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I, you know what, with this, with this basketball event, I can still do what I love to do and yeah. still bring, bring in the music involved with it. You know right. what I mean? So just like, yes. uh, just like, um, I was going to ask you actually, I know that you've done some, um, huge, uh, events with the, with the national anthem. Would you like to sing the national anthem at our event? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah? I'd love it's, to. You, you would do that? Of course I would. Awesome. Yeah. There you go. Boom. I will do it. You, you guys heard it here me first. in. You guys heard ah, it here ah, first. Ah, nice, All nice, right. nice. Awesome. Consider so it done. July, tw July 29th. It'll be about like 1 30, 1 45. We get you up there to sing. I would love that. Awesome. Cool. Yes. yes, awesome. yes. I, might, I might have to get you to come sing a couple words. I'm just joking. Yeah, <laughs> I would do it. Are, I would were do you it. a singer? Is that what no, you were? I, I don't sing. I, I, I have some songs that are kind of singing, but I'm more yeah. of a hip hop artist. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. I love yeah. that. 
cool. And you know, you know, Jean Claire. Yeah. Great. He's a good guy, you know. Yeah, uh, he's great. Yeah, I like him a lot. Yeah, if you ask him about let's talk with Finns, he knows who we are. He knows me, exactly. Me, I, yeah. I gotta bring that up the next time I talk to him. Like, Listen, yeah, tell me, yeah. About this. me and my wife. We went to a <laughs> festival where he was uh he was performing at a festival and um and we interviewed him there. It was pretty cool. Amazing. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. He's very yep, done. For sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, you kind of touched a little bit on what inspired you. It seems like your brother had a big part to do with that. Yep. Um, and um, you said there's a lot of sponsors that are going to be involved with this event, right? Do you, what yes. Are some of the sponsors? Yeah. Are so like 30, we got like 35 plus sponsors, you know, so we got everything from a cool down zone, an 800 square foot tent from tip top tents. And, uh, you know, it's just for the shade area. Last year, there was really no shade at, at Woodlands Park. So at TB McQuestin Park, there's a little bit more shade. But I added an 800 square foot cool down zone where people can go in and get some water or some energy drinks and, and kind of just get some shade and, and hang in the shade for a bit. So that's from Tip Top Tents. CHCH News, obviously, Team Litson and Team Nike are the huge sponsors for $10,000. Um, we've had multiple vendor sponsors donate $1,500 or thousands of dollars, um, like MDS modern day solutions, their construction company, uh, simple stair solutions is also another guy. His name's Adams from simple stair solutions. He's amazing. He, uh, he actually creates like hardwood floors and makes stair caps and, 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 and creates a whole new look for your stairs. And it's, it's all he made a whole business out of it. It's it's amazing. So okay, uh, I don't but, know if you can see my stairs in the back there, but they, I could use those being hard. Yeah, hey too. man, he he'd hook you <laughs> up too. He'd hook you up too for sure, just because you know me for sure. Uh, he's a great guy. But also we got Tim Hortons in Jackson Square Mall, Manchu Walk in Jackson Square Mall. We got um, you know tons of people in the business community like Popeye Supplements and A One Performance Club, um, Hamilton Fitness Academy. Um, you know, there's there's tons off the top of my head. I honestly can't go through the whole list with you right now there's so many yeah and um but there there there's 35 plus and uh we got about 10 vendors that are going to be there for the day um you know four jeff c has given us 104 jeff c tickets to give away to the kids uh mm. and, and the families that show up so that's pretty cool we got four gold tie cat tickets to give away gold tie cat tickets too so they'll be in like amazing seats and uh, that's for this season coming up. We're going to give those away. I have a, a, a big framed picture, a panoramic picture. Actually, where is it? Is it behind me? Oh, I want to see this. Oh, do you got a minute? I can run and grab it. Hold on. Yeah, of course I do. I want to see this. The suspense is killing me, David. Oh, okay. All right. So this is one of the prizes for the slam dunk contest. Oh, wow. It's a panoramic picture of the first ever Raptors game played at ACC. Oh, wow. And it's got the cards down here, too, of the original lineup. Oh, I know so many people that would just love to get their hands on that. You can't That's... find this on the internet. You will never find this on the internet. It was bought at the stadium 20 years ago, 20 plus years ago. Wow. Nobody has this on the internet. It was paid $220. Sorry, $220. Wow. That is that. cool. That is awesome. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Can I do I get a chance to win it too? That was back in the day. <laughs> So it's got like, you know, it's got like Vince Carter, Del Curry, Alvin Williams, Chris Childs, you know, the original lineup up there. Wow. Yeah. So that's you seeing this? People, this is great. This is yeah. really cool. Wow. We got wow. lots of stuff. So we got three iconic jerseys as well. I got mm. the jer I got the jerseys, um, Michael Jordan's Wizards jersey. Oh, um, I got wow. a, a LeBron Cavs jersey and a Vince Carter jersey for the Raptors that I'm giving away. That's amazing. So, lots of giveaways, guys. Just come. I get love it. Stuff. I love it. <laughs> well, how, I want to know, how can the viewers get involved with this event? I mean, obviously, we want everyone to show up to this event. Yeah. But um, are you looking for any more people, any more Vol uh, volunteers? I always I always mm -hmm. need some volunteers to help out with the day scorekeepers, timekeepers, you know, stuff like that. Uh, cleanup duties, stuff like that. It won't be much of a cleanup, but 
um, you know, anything, um, media people, anybody with a podcast, anybody with a sports channel, sports network. I have a full broadcasting company, Crown Point Media. Uh, they're going to be filming the event for broadcasting. So I, I have a, a, a stream link for any sports network that wants to put it on their network. And uh, nice. so that's that's really cool. That's huge for us um, to have that production company do that for us. He sponsored his time to do it, too. So. Yeah. Um, it, well, I noticed on CHCH they've got a lot of information about it too. Will they? Will yep. they be doing something about it? Uh, something they're, about it as well? Or? They're, they're a major sponsor, actually. They mm. gave us like a five thousand dollar media package for the whole event. They had me on Morning Live, and then they did a media blast yesterday and sent it to all their uh, uh, social media platforms. And uh, they're going to be at the event with a vendor for the two days and their cameras and stuff like that. Cable 14 is going to be there with their cameras set up and they're going to be broadcasting it live as well. And also we're going to have a bunch of other media companies like CT Media and uh, the Dream Team podcast. They're a sports podcast in Toronto. They're going to be there. Lots of stuff happening, but I'm always looking for more media. So I would I would just encourage anybody to, to give the call down there at the bottom. I think you guys can all see that down at the bottom. My number's there. Yeah. Email me. Email me. Uh, call me. It doesn't matter how you get in touch with me. Just get in touch with me and, and we'll work it out. So, yeah. Absolutely. And are you looking, you're probably looking for more sponsors too, if anybody wants to. Oh, oh yeah, for you, sure. Right? Always, always looking for sponsors. I have a deal right now going on for sponsors for two, for two full days for $400 and you can set up your vendor as big as you want. Mm. And, you know, you can bring anything you want. You can sell your stuff there. You can promote your stuff there. You can do whatever you'd like for your business. That also includes social media uh, promotion as well on our end. I'll make mm. sure that every, everybody knows you're a sponsor and, and I'll put your logo on the flyer and the event banner and stuff like that. So uh, give a little back to you guys for marketing as well. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it's great to have you on the show. I, I've heard a yeah, lot I'm of really great things about you. And I, now your fundraising is this a this is a fundraiser, right? And, and so, yes. what are you fundraising for exactly? So, so basically, um, the end goal with this is to become um, a, a, a FIBA event. So, I want to. Mm. I'm, I'm in talk with Canada Basketball right now, and mm. um, they're going to help me personally apply to FIBA next year to become a sanctioned FIBA event. And with the money raised at these events, I'm going to rebuild three on three basketball courts across the world. So uh, let's say uh, the first country I'm going to do is the Philippines. I know a, a, a worship group out there mm. and they, they live in a worship home, like a group home. And they have a nice little basketball court in the backyard, but it's really run down and they don't have any shoes and they don't really have any good basketball. So I'm going to rebuild their court for them, give them all shoes, give them all basketballs and teach them a game of three on three so they can continue to build the game of three on three and try to qualify internationally with That's the Philippines. Amazing. I love so, that. So providing opportunity is, is where all this fundraising is going to. I just want to provide opportunity for people to grow the game of three on three and also courts here as well. I want, there's a few courts in my own city that I'd like to rebuild in the future as well. The end goal would be to have a facility here in Hamilton built with four courts in it, a workout area where you could work out, a shop with merchandise and offices where I can run the festival organizing all year round. You know, and we, we would rent the courts out for tournaments and leagues and organizations and, and, and raise money through that all year round. And then we host our big tournament there every year. And uh, all that money raised goes back into the game of three on three in Canada and, 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 and globally and trying to change the world to three on three. That's my that's my game. That's my mission. I love that. Anybody watching right now, we, we'd really love you to be a part of this event. Yeah, um, big time. It's really big a time. great cause. If not, just come out, you know. If, yes, if, if, if come you don't out. have the means, if you don't have the means to, to sponsor or to be a vendor or you know, to, to, to sing or whatever the case may be, um, you know, just, just come on out and enjoy it. Bring your families. It's a family, family friendly event. The halftime show is going to be awesome. We have a, a, an amazing singer, Rochelle show. She's, mm -hmm. um, she's going to be doing great things in the music industry. She's a young singer. Um, and then we also have the steel city dance studio. That's going to come in after her and do okay. a 10 minute routine. And mm -hmm. then we're going to end it with the BET freestyle Friday world champion, young mm -hmm. stitch. And Ooh. he's gonna come in and and just and throw it down with some energy and 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 close it out. So it's gonna be an awesome show. 
Love it. Love it. So if you can tell us one last time, where, when is this happening, the event and the details about the event? Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's in Hamilton, Ontario on July 29th and 30th. Uh, you know, the 29th will be a little bit more exciting with the slam dunk contest and the adults winning $10,000. Uh, but you will get to see the chance, uh, the chance to see the U15 division on Sunday. So that's always exciting to get to see the young rising stars playing as well. And lots of giveaways on the Sunday as well. So come both days, <laughs> uh, July, July 29th and 30th, TB McQuestin Park in Hamilton. It's 1199 Upper Wentworth Street in Hamilton, Ontario. It's right by Lime Ridge Mall. You can't miss it. There's going to be a ton of people there. There's going to be tons of vendors and tents and everything. You can't miss it. Love it, love it. Now, can you tell the viewers where can they find you on social media? Um, yeah. Get you. Yeah, no problem. The <laughs> best way to get me directly is LinkedIn. So, if you want to follow me on LinkedIn, it's just David Finley. My the name, uh, my name's right down there in the, on the red bar there, uh, for the correct spelling. Um, and then, social media, you can uh, always message the pages on um, Instagram, WD Three Versus Three. And then also uh, our website's about to drop too. It's going to be dropping in a bit and that's going to be Wentworth district three versus com. So uh, that's going to be an exciting professional website when that drops. I can't wait. Love it. Can't wait to see that. And I know I'm going to be there at the event. So can't oh, yeah. wait to see everybody there. Yeah. Wow. You're singing the anthem now. I know. I know. I know. I'm excited. Thank that's you so much. Cool. I'm very honored to be. Doing no, that's that. cool. I'm really excited for that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so thanks again for joining me on my show talk with Sean no problem. right here on no the Startup problem. Network. Yeah. And before I leave, I just want to say this is what I always say at the end of my show. Yeah. Always let the music live through you. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me today. Look at my tattoo. Oh, it oh my, yeah, I know. I know you have musician it says, in you. <laughs> it, it, says, it says my heart. Yeah. Like there's a, a music track going through this whole tattoo. And oh, it, says, it says my heart is my beat. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same yeah I'm going to have to see that when I go that day in person. No problem. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on the show. And Take I'll care. See you the event. I'll see you guys all there July 29th and 30th, TV McQuestin Park. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye.